Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gerard. First off, excuse the voice. I am recovering from a little bit of a cold. It's been a rough two weeks, but the good news is I am back. And today I brought along my FX Panthera 600 millimeter Hunter for you guys, which we're gonna use and showcase on today's video. I've got Kevin with me. I've got a farm which is filled with some pace birds and we're gonna put this new gun to the test. Oh, what a crack of a shot. Oh, beautiful shot. That's a long bomb there. <laughs> This FX Panthera started off his life as a standard FX Panthera 600 millimeters. From there, I removed the front rail and added a second bottle here in the front. Then it became a double bottle 600 millimeter FX Panthera. Now today I've done something else to it again. As you guys can see, it only has a front bottle now and no rear bottle. Now what I've done here in the back is I've fitted a Huma quick change bottle adapter with a blind plug now what makes this accessory so nice is i can use this gun with one bottle outside in the field and if i feel if i want to add another bottle it's super easy to add another bottle on the fly the only thing you do is unscrew the front bottle unscrew the fitting here at the back add the second bottle and just turn both of them in again and the gun will fill up and you have two bottles on your gun again that's what makes this fitting so awesome What a beautiful shot, 185. <laughs> Smoked him. <laughs> Beautiful. Mossy, 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 how many mossy? Go. Oh. oh. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost hit the wire. Got some mossy fever. <laughs> I want to help you guys out quickly with the tuning on the FX Pantheras. I've been shooting a lot of them now recently and I want to see if I can give you some tips and advice here. It seems to be that the rec pressure on these guns is the best around about 150 to 160 bar. It seems to be like there's just a sweet spot, especially with harmonics. And I'm talking from smaller slugs from 25 grain all the way up to 40 grain. Um, in my opinion, I don't think you need to shoot a 40 grain slug out of your Panthera. The 34 grain slugs will do it all for you. Uh, my favorite choice of slug to use for PRS is 34 grain slugs and for hunting, 25 grain or 30 grain will do just fine. Now with the rec pressure set at around about 155 bar, I can shoot 
a 25 grain slug at 1050 feet per second and I can put my 34 grain slugs in here and I can still push it to 980 feet per second and that's with a 600 millimeter barrel now I've got my macro adjusted full out to 23 and my micro also full out to number four but with that and the single barrel that you see here I get about 56 shots with one fill which is crazy and I generate all this power with this gun as it sits over here and another one amazing Beautiful, beautiful. It's like nothing out there at 150. <laughs> That's with 25 grain slugs. Danny went. Now I know there's a lot of you out there that's been asking me what is my current favorite hunting slug that I use for pest control. And I can tell you guys without any doubt that it is the new slug HP2s from H&N. This is the 25 grain 21H that I'm shooting at 1050 feet per second. These bad boys has a new T-slot design in them with a new lead formula, which means they expand to the max and they super, super accurate out of guns like this FX Panthera that I've got here behind me. You guys definitely need to get your hands on one of these. And I can tell you for sure that you're gonna love them when you shoot them. Hey, dropping like flies this morning. Lovely little headshot. Lovely. I love this gun. Just awesome. Awesome. Now if you guys want to get yourself an FX Panthera Hunter like this, then there is two accessories that is a must to go with this gun setup. The first thing is a Sabre Tactical bottle clamp like this here in the front. That bottle clamp gives you the ability to add a bipod and once you have your bipod you will have a lot more stability to make better shots. The second accessory which is also a must for this kind of gun is a soft sandbag and not a sandbag which is filled with hard medium now the reason why I say soft sandbag is a soft sandbag molds around the obstacle that you shoot from and at the same time it molds around the bottom of a gun like this with a narrow base if you do this with a hard bag the gun is just gonna fall sideways or backwards and forwards like this so a soft sandbag will go a long way with a gun like this with a narrow footprint at the bottom Check out these two accessories because they will make your life a lot easier.
<laughs> Beautiful headshot there. Smoked that pigeon. Well, that's it for today's video. I'm tapping out. I'm not feeling 100% as yet. So I just want to thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you like it, I want to ask you a favor. Please smash that like button down below and leave me a comment. And for all the new guys watching for the first time, if you want to see more like this, then you need to subscribe and turn on that notification bell for me. And with that being said, thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Cheers.